The video review will start in a few seconds, but if you're watching this on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3dgameman.com and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Terra Trend TS231U two bay raid storage enclosure and it's by Silverstone. It's a great looking box with lots of pictures, features and specifications about the product on it. Now let me go ahead and open it up and let's see what's inside. Packaged very well in this quality styrofoam. Now let me keep it upside down. Here we have the power cable. A USB cable, a serial ATA cable, the user's manual, and the enclosure, which is in this plastic bag to protect it. Take it out and let's have a closer look at it. They have some protective plastic on this enclosure here at the top, as well on the inside at the bottom, let me take that off. Now this external hard drive enclosure fits up to two three and a half inch drives and you can use it as a regular plain Jane external hard drive enclosure or you can set up RAID on it and it supports RAID 0, RAID 1, as well as JBOD, which stands for just a bunch of disks. And by the way, it provides RAID redundancy protection against hard drive failures. Now, one important thing to note here is that the RAID controller is built into this hard drive enclosure. And of course, that's going to reduce the CPU stress on the host PC. That's, of course, if the host PC has a RAID controller, and some of them do not. And if it doesn't, well, you're either going to need to go out and purchase a RAID controller, which would cost you more, but of course, in this particular situation, you don't need it because the RAID controller is built right in. Now, let me go through some additional features and specifications about this product, and then I'll have a closer look at it. As you can see, it comes in black aluminum at the front the rest is steel and includes a 70 millimeter fan and it measures in at 214 millimeters by 130 millimeters by 115 millimeters now as i already mentioned you can fit up to two three and a half inch hard drives in this enclosure but of course you can fit up to two three and a half inch serial ata drives in this as well and the hard drive interface support is serial ata one two or three. The enclosure interface can be USB 3 up to a maximum of five gigabits per second. Of course, remember it's compatible with USB 2 and external serial ATA up to a maximum of three gigabits per second. And by the way, this weighs in at 1,900 grams, so it's pretty light. Now you can fit up to two four terabyte hard drives in this particular enclosure. Of course, that's going to be a little bit dependent on the operating system because only Windows XP 64-bit Vista 7 OS X, which is Mac, Linux can support uh, when RAID capacity is over two terabytes, so keep that in mind. At the top left, there are a few LEDs. The power LED, which by the way is blue when the unit is turned on, and two hard drive LEDs, and those are either blue or red. They're blue when the hard drive is detected, and red when the hard drive is being accessed. Now this door is held into place with a single magnet which is on the door itself so it is very easy to close as well as open. With the door open you can clearly see the two three and a half inch drive bays and at the bottom you've got a power button. You've got a selection here between normal, RAID 0, RAID 1 and you can also do the combination of drives which would be the JBOD. Also you've got a mode button which confirms the RAID configuration that you have so you select what you need and then click on the mode button and you're good to go. Installing three and a half inch drives in this enclosure is literally a snap. All you do is push it in till it locks into place. If you want to remove it push here. I'll do the same thing on the bottom so you can see how easy it is. At the back you've got that 17 millimeter exhaust fan. Here's where the power cord gets connected. This is the USB 3 connection and the external serial ATA connection. At the bottom there's ventilation so that back 17 millimeter fan will pull in cool air through here and then exhaust the warm air out at the back. And note that there are four 
rubber feet. Performance on this product will vary tremendously. It depends on which three and a half inch hard drive or serial ATA drive that you're using, the interface support, whether it be serial ATA one, two, or three, as well the enclosure interface, USB three, USB two, or external serial ATA. And remember, of course, it's also going to depend on the RAID configuration that you use. If you're in the market for an external two bay RAID storage solution, which supports USB three, as well as external serial ATA, and you can fit up to two four terabyte hard drives into it, plus it looks great. Well, this just might be the product for you. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review, and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.